My game is called Cloud Cannon, and the objective is to destroy all of the enemy cannons while flying around on a cloud. Here the game board did not place properly, so we just hit the move board button and it will show available planes. You can replace it at any time for strategic reasons or otherwise. Here we're scanning an image, which instantiates some ramparts to hide behind and gives you an extra layer of strategy to think about. At this point, I'm playing in the Wozniak Lounge and uh, running around, tapping on my phone and dodging left and right. I was thankful that nobody I knew uh, walked by at that point. The game can recognize two unique images of shields and scanning either of these will instantiate an instance of the castle ramparts. The game works really well as AR with the ramparts to hide behind. You can play inside or out, but I think it's probably more fun outside where you have a lot of room to really run away from the rockets, dodge behind stuff, and get into it. Using the physical images to create static elements of the game rather than a mobile element like a handheld shield was a decision I had to make after finding the limitations of the image tracking to keep up with the fast pace of this particular game. Also, playing outside added a whole nother layer when my images, which are printed on paper, blew away and I had to run and grab them before I could scan them back in and get my ramparts to hide behind again. Having the game objects tied to physical objects in the real world added an interesting level of strategy and foresight to the game that I didn't expect. Not only are you able to interact through the touchscreen of your phone, but to do well, you're required to place physical things in advantageous locations ahead of time for use later.